yo, 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 yo. Welcome back. To the uh, best friends. The best and worst of the best friends. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, so far we have done, um, Nelly. We have done Elizabeth. Is that it? That is. Okay. Yeah, that's all we've done. So, like, we're just barely breaking the ice here. Am I right? We are, um, well, we're but, about, like, there's not that many. Yeah, though, we're, so. the ones that are gonna come up later are gonna be the ones that, like, don't have collections and junk. Anyway, we are on best friend to Molly McIntyre, Emily Bennett. Now, starting with her name, Emily Bennett, obviously, I mean... It's very, very basic. It's very, it's one of the most basic names I think American Girl has for one of their characters. I mean, in general, I feel like... Emily's anthem in my mind is I forgot that you existed. I forgot that you existed. Um, I always forget about her. She's, and... I don't know why I forget about her. Yeah. I, like I just when I think Molly, I forget Emily's there. I don't know why, but it, but we're not good. We're gonna not think that today because we're focused on her. But Emily in general is just like a really basic name, and I've literally met people with the last name Bennett. I've met Emily's, so like. I mean, sure, this is a steady name because it's just so basic. It's not, like, ugly. Maybe an 8? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you giving her an 8? That's, like, the most basic name there yeah, is. Yeah, I know. It's not ugly. Maybe, like, a 7. No, it's, like, a 6. Yeah, like, a 6. Just because there's nothing, just nothing special about it to me. I don't... I'm not huge on it, but okay. Okay, guys, so the next thing is Emily's appearance. So let's take a look at her. Now, here is what Emily looks like. Now, the weird thing about her is that in some photos, her hair looks longer. I don't know exactly why that is. I don't... Maybe people are just styling it to kind of curl over. I don't, I don't know if this is just the way it's like that because of that. But in general, I think she's pretty. Um, she looks a lot like... The, um, number 39, which is the mini Kylie that we own, the Truly Me. Whoa. And I don't know if I should be offended by that or not. I, I know what she looks like. She looks like, what's her name? Lindsay Lohan in The Parent Trap. <laughs> That's exactly who she looks like. Um, which, you know. I think she's honestly really cute. She's cute, but she's also like, okay. I kind of. You know, it's like, okay, I, we've all seen this doll before. I think I've seen this doll before. But, like. I hope her hair actually is that short because I think a really like a bob like yeah, a redhead a redheaded kit would be really cute. But some of these photos show it kind of past the shoulder a little bit, so I'm kind of confused. But in general, it's cute. I like her hair. I like her. She's like she's she's cute. She's, I like her hair. It's very nice. Um, I think I'm gonna give her appearance a eight, an eight maybe seven point five. Yeah, I I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the way she looks. Now, the next thing is Emily's collection. First, we have, of course, her meat outfit. And her meat outfit follows Molly's red, white, and blue color scheme and was a gift from her Aunt Primrose, just by the way, guys. But as you guys can see, it's the red, white, and blue thing that because America, you know. Yeah, I mean, I like this dress because I like the floral. I like the color, too. I think it's very cute. Don't get me wrong. I would, it's definitely like I would get the dress. Of, I think it's definitely like Fourth of July chic in a way, but um, I don't know if that's a bad thing. And you know, it does look like something my mom would dress me up in in maybe two thousand five for Fourth of July parade. But I was a cute little kid, and Emily's a cute little doll. So I like the color of this dress. That is not like a navy blue. It's like that pretty like sky bluish kind of color. I, I like this a lot. I think it's a nice meat outfit. I like this doll. It's very nice. Then we have Emily's accessories and in the story, this has a cardigan here and in the stories, Emily wears her cardigan being so that she's used to it being cold in England. Um, so that's kind of odd, but okay. <laughs> Um, Emily, and there's- wait, 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 she's used to being cold in England? Because she's so used to wearing it and stuff. But- That's why she has a cardigan. But if the but, buttons actually work, which I really like, of course, 
Um, Emily collects photographs of the British Princess Elizabeth and Margaret Rose. The miniature pictures are stickers, which can be put in the 1940s style scrapbook. And there are five photographs all together, including some of Emily's family. So she has a scrapbook, so that's really cool. She has a dog tag necklace. And, um, yeah, they're given to her by her grandfather from World War I. That's beautiful. Um, and it has, there's an expired ticket and a note written by her mother on the back. That would be really weird to receive. I'm sorry. Like, a, as, like, a part of an accessory thing, like, a, a little, like, expired ticket with a note on the back from your mother. Like, that's kind of an odd doll accessory piece. But these are nice. Alright guys, here we're getting into the real deal. We have Emily's tap costume for $28. Oh my god, she's little Cadet Kelly. I don't know why that's the that first person uh, I thought of. She doesn't look anything like that. How do you know? This is a tap dance. Cadet Kelly. Paige, was... I'm allowed to think about whatever I want to think about. Do you know that one scene, you never watched, actually you don't know. But I know, because you never watched, uh, what's his name? You know, the one with the shield. I, I really don't like him. I'm sorry if that's, like, unpopular opinion. I don't like him. What's his name? I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, Captain America. So there's this one scene where he's, like, doing propaganda, and there's, like, little tap dancing girls behind him. There is? I, yes. I, I tried to just not think about that. I don't know. But, um, that's what she looks like. In general, though, this is a cute outfit that I would get for my doll, I guess. I mean, I don't think I would get it. I think I would accept it. I wouldn't throw it away. You know. <laughs> it's cute. It's the same thing, though. It's like that whole red, white, and blue. We get it. We It's a, it's a world war, you know. Um, then we have Emily's snowsuit for $32, and, um, wow. Oh, my lord almighty. <laughs> <laughs> Is there snow? I want to know, is there stuffing in this? <laughs> she looks like... I like, I honestly can't even take that seriously. I don't... I'm confused. Like, is there stuffing in her pants? Like, are they, they're, like, blown up like a sleeping... That kind of sleeping bag material? Kind of, like, thick, like... What? <laughs> I, she honestly looks like, uh... I feel like that I'm like, looking at someone from, like, Antarctica that's just like, I'm gonna go with my igloo now. No, she looks like... She's a penguin. No, she looks like uh, the Ghostbuster Marshmallow uh, Tire Man. I don't know. What? You know what I'm talking about. No, I really don't. You know don't. what I'm talking about, little girl. You remember. Okay, guys. So, then we have Emily's pajamas for $24, which is not that expensive. I mean, I guess. Um, and this image shows the slippers from Emily's Rub and Slippers. Spoiler alert. Um, but here's just her pajamas. Whoa. Now, I know something about this is that the original illustrations had uh, Emily's hair cut shorter, and the doll's hair is, like, longer. That's why, like, it's kind of odd that you'll see photos of her with her hair short and kind of long. But this outfit in particular... My outfit is tight. This outfit in particular, though, in the books was shown a different color, and they changed the illustration to match this. Well... Why couldn't they just change this I to... Don't, like it looks a little too modern, I guess. Yeah, like, it's, something's throwing me off. It's about because it. American Girl didn't want to make it whatever color it was, and they had to make it pink. Like they had to adjust the whole illustration because they want pink. But I do like the style of the and the cut of it. But yeah, eh. so then we have one of my favorite pieces from hers, which is her. Holiday outfit for only $28. I love the pearl necklace around this. The little little per drop okay. on the necklace. I mean, I don't mind. I actually think this is quite cute, especially for the times. And by the way, it is still my life mission. It was my life mission as a five-year-old. It continues to be my life mission now as a 20-year-old uh, young woman. To have those little socks. I love those socks. I was just going to talk about that. Those little lace socks. Those are so cool. Yeah. And I mean, I'm not a big fan of purple, but I do like the shade of purple and the way that they pulled in the pastel colors. And it really looks good with her hair and stuff. I I love the style of it. It's really cute. Like the way it's all bunched up at the top. This is adorable. That necklace, like, I want that necklace. It's very, very hot tunes trying to. Kylie wears a necklace, like, a lot like this. It's just, like, a pearl oh on a chain. So I, it looks super, 
super gorgeous on dolls. I would definitely want this. And it's only $28. It's not like, I feel like something like this would be like Mary Ellen's birthday dress and be like 50 bucks to get the whole deal. Yeah. You get a lot for only the less than $30. You're getting accessories and everything, not just a dress. So I appreciate this. This is, to me, her best piece so far. Yeah. And it really stands out. Next is Emily's robe and slippers, which you guys saw the slippers on. And these are $24. Oh my god, what is with the fluffy clothes? I don't, yeah, to me this looks, it's just. She uh, must have been really cold To me, England. something like this should be 15 bucks or something. I don't know. It's why just, is it so puffy? That's just what I want to know. I don't, yeah, why'd she do, why couldn't she do like a thin robe? It, it, this just looks weird. I'm not gonna lie, people. This looks like something from 2005 at, like, a sleepover. Like, like I can only think, though, she was just, like, super, super duper cold and um Why did they make it pink? And she's just, you know, used to it or whatever. They I said just, stupid. I really wish they just made it a different color. Because this originally, I think, was green. I might be wrong. I'll have to look at the photo. But why couldn't they have just done whatever color it was? Why Like, they have to make things pink because... You're a girl. Because, like, American girl girls... Girls only wear pink. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not big on this at all. Okay, so I always forget that this is part of Emily's Ooh. collection. But this has always been one of my favorite American girls. Hottie, girl hottie. Talk about Baja Blast Freeze. Talk about going down to Taco Bell and giving myself a nice, cold Baja Blast Freeze on a summer day. I remember just seeing this, like, looking through kind of just doll outfit photos and stuff and I'd always see this and go like I wonder where that dress was I absolutely love that I always said that this was one of my favorite pieces ever made by American Girl for their outfits and I mean for it to belong to Emily says a lot about her collection it gives her high points because like I said this is definitely one of my favorite pieces American Girl has created I love the like everything about it the shoes everything it's all adorable and I mean, it's only $24. This is, like, precious, too. And also steel. Like, I... No, it literally looks like a Baja Blast freeze, which, you know, is giving it a lot of high points. I love that they didn't do pink. I love the shape, too. Like, I feel like yeah, it's so exactly. unique. And, you know, American Girl... I always really saw this, and I, w I always saw this, and I was just like, that's one of my favorite things I've ever seen. So, you know, that says a lot. But it is absolutely gorgeous. So I love that. I'm in love with that. I, I will take that if you want to give me one. What? Um, Just DM me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, girl! Okay. Look at her little hottie moment. Look at her little two-piece swimsuit. Look at her little midriff exposed. She has her two-piece swimsuit for $28. Now, I find it kind of odd that this is one of her more expensive pieces. When there's like, less why fabric. Was, why was <laughs> I think this is, the skirt is really, really cute. Do you ever just, like, do you ever just, like, dawn on you where it's like, wow, I'm paying $28 for, like, something that's literally well, it's really two hard. inches long? It's hard to make, like, tiny things, though, is the I, thing. I get that. And they're really But detailed. also, like, that's, like, I could buy an outfit for myself. I feel like this is, this is really, really cute, obviously. I mean, I like doll swimsuits, and I like, I like this, this old sort of nice. look. The hat, to me, seems a little unnecessary, but I mean, okay. I, I like it. I mean, it's she's just. I like that she has a swimsuit though, because I wish that more of the historical dolls had swimsuits so that we could. Oh my god, my foot is asleep. Wake me up but... inside. That's what my foot's singing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, guys, save me when, when your when your awesome. foot wake me up when your foot or hand or arm or whatever is asleep up. that's what they're singing but um i really wish the american girl would make i've said this we've said this before when we made our just historical doll things and we showed emily's collection in it and i said that um i wish more historical dolls had swimsuits because like imagine if like caroline had a swimsuit if we had a mary ellen like i think mary ellen might have a swimsuit i don't know but you get really cute 50s pieces, 60 pieces, 60s pieces. Like swimsuits are, got were really cute back in the day. Um, anyway, next we have her um, dog Yank for $32. So that's more expensive than any of her clothing, which is really bizarre to me. 
Because oh my God. he it looks just dawned horrible. on me why it's named Yank. It's like talking about Yankee, but I thought it was just like the verb, like Yank. That just hurt my head. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, but he talk to, about my To me, and... he especially looks cheap and weird. So for him to be thirty dollars, I feel like he should be like fifteen because he he's very dollar store quality, but we love him anyway. Yeah. But he is definitely at the bottom of the list of some of the ones we've seen. I mean yeah. there it's pretty bad. Um but we love him anyway. Next, we have Emily's wooden sled for $40. So, so far, that has been her most expensive piece. And you guys can see this. Now, here is the odd thing is that um, uh, Mary Ellen now has one for, um, like, 60 or something. So, and it's literally the exact same thing. So, it's just, it's just weird how, like, as time went on, the they prices... Just, like went up when it's just the same thing kind of reused but this is really oh, you know what that sled saying you know what the sled song is what do you get deja vu huh mary ellen sled thinks she's special <laughs> but it's all reused like it literally just comes with the water canister i thing. was the sled i was the first time <laughs> emily sat on me now you, she sits on yours when she's with you, when yeah. Mary Ellen's with you. Yeah. Do you get the That's shopper? ridiculous. I'm sorry. When Mary Ellen's with you. Okay, and the last piece in her collection is her flutophone, flutophone, flutophone. What? Flutophone. Flutophone. Is that just like a flute? I'm um, just a flutophone. Why can't you just call it a flute? I don't know. I I don't understand instruments or music. I think it's like a flut, flutophone, flutophone. I think it's a flutof a flutophone. A, a flutophone. Accessory. And this is um twenty dollars. These are her accessories to this. And this is cute. I mean, I would prefer to get like a violin or something. I don't really know what a flutophone is. Is it just a flute? Like, can you say flute? Because does it have a phone? It looks like a recorder to me is the weird thing. You look like a recorder to me. Is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Is a flutophone an instrument? So, guys, that is all of Emily's collection. Now, I think she has some really good, good pieces in there. Like, her um, recital outfit and her holiday outfit are both pieces that I would get in a heartbeat, especially the recital outfit. I would kill for that outfit. I don't know about murder. I don't believe in murder. I think that you could probably just have a civil discussion, but, um... I want that outfit. It needs to come back. This is, like, we need to start a petition to get I mean, correct just me if this, I'm wrong. this outfit back. Correct, just this outfit. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I just don't think that people who murder people are good people. Yeah. And I'm, maybe that's just me. I mean, but even, like, her swimsuit and all of that, they were super cute. The only thing that was bad to me were her pajamas and, I guess, her sled, her real, real thick stuff. Which, it's not horrible. Like, I'm just not into that snowy clothes kind of stuff, you know? I think I'd give her collection maybe an 8. There's, like, she has really standout dresses in there. Uh, what about a 7.5? We'll do a 7.5. Sure, whatever. But that dress... Gets a ten. The Baja Blast dress. I will literally. Kill that is. Man yeah. That, that is. That is an eleven. I will sink in. Well, I said I don't like murder, so I'm. I'm a hypocrite. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So moving on to her story. So this is her personality, sort of. Emily is very shy and quiet. Um, she takes a little while to open up to people. The war has affected her greatly, as England was more affected by World War II than America. That is a true story. I took. A couple history classes in my day. She has seen houses destroyed and people having to take shelter in the subway during raids. Emily's father is a doctor and has been drafted into the military. This creates a connection between Emily and Molly regarding their father's occupations. Emily was sent to stay with her aunt Primrose in America. However, aunt Primrose is ill with pneumonia. I had pneumonia once. It's true, she did. For like three weeks. I uh, watched a whole bunch of QVC, and the first QVC show I ever watched was 
a today's special value, and then today's special value was Vera Bradley. And so for about five hours straight, I just saw weird paisley bags, and I yeah. felt a little broken inside. I am broken. Uh, when Emily arrives and has asked the McIntyres to take Emily in for a few weeks while she recovers. That was nice. Um, Emily has been asked to act like a brave little soldier, so she does not show her emotions very much. Um, <laughs> she's also a little disturbed by the loudness of the McIntyre children. That's Americans for you. She admires Molly a lot and really tries to impress her and her friends. Emily is often afraid of not fitting into American society and desperately wants to go home to England. She loves the English princesses, Elizabeth and Margaret, Rose, me too, um, which she and Molly both share in common. When she goes, I think we all share that in common, um, when she goes back to England, they apparently keep in touch. <laughs> in the movie, Emily's father is a bus driver. What the heck? Like, why are you going to change his occupation? I don't know. That movie was... And the father lived... And the family lived in an apartment above a candy store. Emily's mother was killed when the candy store was bombed during the war. Yeah, something weird happened with the movie. That's a little... Someone please explain because I didn't get all the details that's a little on that. Intense. I don't remember Molly's movie very much. Um, okay, so here is um, her story, though. Let me set the scene. Spring. From Brave Emily, the book. Spring, 1944. Emily Bennett, a young English girl, has... Should I do it with a British accent? No. Okay. A young English girl has come to stay with Molly McIntyre's family to escape the bombing <laughs> of London. Emily's parents sent her off with a reminder to be a brave soldier for England, but Emily doesn't see how she can do that. Molly tries hard to make sweet, shy Emily feel at home. And Emily, why do I sound Australian? And Emily is super grateful uh, for Molly's friendship. Emily is delighted to find that she can help Molly with math and is pleased and proud that she impresses Molly. It's stop but it's not, not until Emily makes a big mistake lying about practicing her flutophone, afraid to tell Molly, and then a live performance is announced and has to ask Molly for help. But Emily shows how truly brave she is. And both girls learn what friendship really means. An English girl. Yeah, this is from, this part is from Molly's books with, um, uh, I think it's Mo uh, Molly, surprise Molly. Well, it's one of. Oh, okay. So now I have to switch back to an American accent. So now but, um, this is Molly's point of view. Okay, but where is Molly from? I forget which state. Let me check. Because it's important to my accent. Does everyone like when I do accents? <laughs> Comment down below. Let's see. Where are you? Where are you from, little girl? Let me check your little American Girl wiki. You and me both have an American Girl wiki. <laughs> Pretty cool. I just found out that she is in Illinois, which is a Midwestern state, and so I will be adopting Molly's accent for this. <laughs> Probably offending so many people. If you're from Illinois, please let me know or if any, you sound like this. If you're from the Midwest, I'm sorry. An English girl is coming to stay at the Macon Dyers. And she <laughs> oh, you sound Scottish. <laughs> so it is coming to stay at the Macon Dyers in decent time for Molly's birthday. Molly, <laughs> Molly and her friends are very excited until Emily Bennett turns out to be quite different from the glamorous girl they pictured. <laughs> I guess they were like picturing like a like a fancy British girl. A little British girl. That's funny. Emily is shy and she seems unfriendly. <laughs> that, that, that's this turns Scottish. Then Molly discovers that, that Emily is worried about her family and more turn lending. Just as Molly is worried about her father and the girls become good friends. They even plan to turn Molly's 10th birthday celebration into a real English tea party. But the girl's friendship starts to fall apart when they can't agree about what's important. And it takes a special birthday surprise to help them patch up their hurt feelings. They both get puppies. <laughs> so guys, that is basically their story. Um, both of them have w war experience um, with their fathers. But Emily has, like, been traumatized and stuff. You know, like, that's why this... I, I love this illustration right here where she's, like, curled up in a blanket, like, yeah. telling her about a bombing. She's like... Like, she's seen... She's like, Molly, you have no idea what I've seen, Molly. 
<laughs> my candy shop was blown up, Molly. They're just like, they do like little like therapy for each other, you know? They just like sit there and. And we love that. They, they have like a really therapeutic friendship. Just like, my dad died. Oh. I'm so sorry. My dad died too. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't die, but you know. Um, do they but, die? No. Are you sure? Yeah. But, but yeah, Emily. Um, I like Emily as a character with Molly. I like that I like, the, I like their friendship. I like the fact that Molly was a very, like, she's very rambunctious, as we know, with all the, like, camp stuff and all the, like, pranks in the neighborhood and stuff. And they were, like, expecting, like, a real fancy, glamorous girl to come. And then they get, like, this traumatized little English girl. And they're like, you have to be a brave soldier for us, please. And, you know, it's kind of like Princess Protection Program. Like, they're, like... She has to leave her mom. Yeah. I really feel the Princess Protection Program vibes from this. Like, I feel like that scene where it's like, we, you do not know who I am. I am, I am Emily Montoya. I am the princess of... Didn't we just use this scene? Like, yeah, I feel like we did. I am the princess of London. And I am scared. My mother was taken into a candy shop and exploded. But it's the fact that both of them are kind of, except, like, Molly's kind of just, like, a chill American, while Emily has, like, got bombings and stuff. But they both, like, have things in common where they're worried about things. But, I mean, as far as her story goes, with their friendship, of course, is what's important, the important aspect. You know, like, I think that, like, she... Maybe this is, like, unpopular to say, but I feel like, you know, forget about her looks, forget about her name, forget about her collection. I feel like her story is the most interesting part about her. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I think that they have a, one of the coolest friendships of them, all the dolls, because they're kind of just, like, both going through some trauma, <laughs> and, like, they get, like, dogs <laughs> together, and then they go home. Um, you guys can see we have this beautiful Emily doll right here. I just her pants are around her ankles. We have the, this beautiful <laughs> Emily doll here. But, I mean, I'd give her story, I want to say, like, a nine. Yeah. I don't know what we gave, like, um, Elizabeth, because Elizabeth was my other, like, favorite, but, like, I don't know what we gave her, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be generous to Emily. I don't think she deserves a nine. Okay, she's, like, what does she do? Like, yeah, nothing. that's true, that's true. She's gonna get an eight. eight. Yeah, she's an eight to me. Wait, there's no plot, but, like, there's also, like, a past, and I like her past. And it's just, like, the fact that, like, they're like, oh, this is how you want to have a tea party? That's not a proper tea party. That's how I want my tea party. You know, like, they have, like, issues with their little tent birthday. What if we give na -na -na. It's so hard to do simple math. Yeah, we're, we're, we're calculating the results, guys. Which rounds her score out to a 7.25, which is highly average, just like Emily. Which I think is a perfect... But I really sweater. like her dresses. I really want the Baja dress. Um, I also want the purple one with the necklace. Is she the best best friend? Only time will tell. We'll see you next week when we discuss the Ivy. The Ivy. One of the most iconic... Well, I don't want to spoil it. So we'll see her later. Um, I hope that you smell nice. I hope that your pillow is nice and fluffy. I hope that... Your bread never molds, and I hope that your smile never gets old, which it doesn't. I'll smile you later. I love you. Bye.